Hey, Paul Stiesel here. I'm at the Centrale train station in Milano. Just finished completing our Open Education Global 19 conference in partnership with Politecnico di Milano. And uh, what an amazing event it was. We had almost 300 people from over 40 countries. Uh, in addition to the traditional keynote speeches and uh, presentations, we also had this year some action labs and world cafes where we try to make them uh, more interactive and tap into the collective expertise of everyone who's participating um, and uh, contribute that expertise towards some kind of common understanding, global common understanding of how open education is working around the world. I was delighted to have so many uh, open education award winners at this year's conference and to hear their lightning talks. Um, and also to feature sessions that look at everything from strategies to roles and pedagogies to open education practices. Uh, I think that's a pretty good uh, coverage of the kinds of things that are taking place in open education these days. Uh, I was really thrilled to have uh, some fantastic keynotes um, with Paola Corti starting out uh, with a panel of students talking about how open education is shaping their open future and, uh, and also featuring Kathy Perkins who was speaking about teaching math and science using an open, open education, specifically the FET simulations that her organization develops. Uh, Cheryl Hodgkinson Williams from South Africa speaking about the warp and weft of open education and social justice. And Dominic Orr talking about um, learning pathways and the potential future of open education going on to 2030. All in all, a collectively amazing spectrum of views of open education from around the world. And I was delighted to conclude the whole event with a panel uh, featuring people from UNESCO speaking about the recently adopted UNESCO OER recommendation. Some amazing stuff happening with open education currently in the world. I invite you to attend our next Open Education Global Conference, which will take place in Taiwan, uh, the 20th to the 22nd of November in 2020. Uh, special thanks to our Polytechnico de Milano partners in hosting this conference here in Milano, and to my amazing team, uh, who does such an incredible job of creating a conference that is uh, representative of open education around the world. And I was especially touched to hear a remark uh, from a participant at this conference who told me that uh, Open Education Global touched their soul in that our Open Education Global community is inspiring. Uh, those kinds of things can be achieved through this conference. I'm incredibly proud to help uh, build it, to make it happen, and to invite everyone from around the world to join in in making use of Open Education to increase access to education for everyone. Thanks all. See you next year.